Hello, this is Michael with Programming Electronics Academy. I hope you're doing fantastic. So over the past three years, we've had over 10,000 students go through our courses that teach about Arduino and, and some electronic stuff. You know, we've gotten a ton of feedback. We're always, we're constantly collecting feedback, trying to make our courses better. And one of the things that consistently comes up is that that's the biggest trouble for students learning is actually the amount of time that they have to dedicate. Because for a lot of people, learning about uh, programming electronics, it's kind of a, a hobby for, for many people. So I've put a lot of thought into what I can do to help save students time as they're learning about programming electronics using Arduino as the platform. One thing, you know, is obviously we try to keep our videos concise. That's one thing we try to do and make sure that the videos that we're presenting are useful so we can get students ahead, you know, as fast as possible, stuff that's relevant. Uh, but another thing I thought, like, okay, well, what if I could take away that whole breadboarding aspect? as you're learning Arduino, right? So, so instead of having to set up a tiny circuit on a breadboard and you know find your 220 ohm resistor and find your LED, uh, instead of having to do that, what if you could just say plop a shield on top of your Arduino and then have something to work with? And that is what spurred the creation of the basic electronics shield or BESI. So let's go ahead and take a look. Don't get me wrong, I like breadboards a ton. In fact, I have a ton of solderless breadboards. I've got you know, ones that are small, ones that are larger, ones that fit on top of Arduinos, um, like a shield, they're fantastic. And I think breadboards are fundamental for people just getting started learning about electronics and Arduino and that type of thing. However, at some point in, you know, your learning development, you reach a threshold where it's like, okay, I've set up an LED circuit enough times, I've set up a potentiometer enough times, do I really need it to do it again? Is it adding any value to my education as I repeat that process over and over? And I, I think, you know, some repetition is definitely good, but once you got it down, then it's really just kind of taking time away from the time you could be learning with uh, the development side. And so that's really the idea with the basic education shield. We're trying to take out the amount of time that you spend, you know, looking for a LED looking for your 220 ohm resistor through your electronics bin or whatever. So let's go ahead and take a look at this shield. So it's got all the typical things that you would expect to use if you were learning about using Arduino on it. It's got eight LEDs on it that connect to the digital pins on an Arduino. It's got two momentary push buttons. One of them is connected to the interrupt pin on the Arduino and it's got a hardware demount circuit on it. It also has two potentiometers and these are connected to analog pins A0 and A1. It also has a piezo buzzer on it, a light dependent resistor, and it's got a temperature sensor. So some stuff to kind of play around with. Now I've been working with a pretty cool company called Rheingold Heavy, and they kind of specialize on making education type hardware. And so I thought it would be a good fit. Now, if you can't tell, I'm actually pretty excited about this board. And it's because I really think it's going to help people save time, you know, so they can sit down, dedicate 20 to 30 minutes and actually make some progress, you know, instead of having to dig around for stuff. And it's all about trying to make things efficient, shaving off some time. So if this can assist in that, then I'm pleased. And, and I think it does. Now, we've gone through a couple iterations of the board already, but we're getting pretty close to making our first batch. Now, if you're interested in getting in on that first batch and being a part of you know, the launch of this board, we'd love to, you know, I'd love to have you par uh, as part of that. So you can follow the link below. You'll be notified about when, when that becomes available. All right. Well, hey, thanks so much for your time. Thanks so much for watching. And I hope you have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.